your english teacher kvl pravina from ankapalli district and i know you love animals am i correct yes now we are going to talk about a favorite animal can you guess what's it you, you are absolutely correct it's an elephant named golu the title of our lesson is golu grows a nose let's overview of the lesson golu grows a nose three parts are here one is before you read the second one is reading comprehension and the third one is comprehension check now we'll check the learning objectives of this lesson learning objectives by the end of this lesson you will be able to explain the story of golu grows a nose in your own words express your opinion on the actions of golu in the story and how they affected the outcome describe the physical features of golu before and after he grew a nose state the different animals that golu encountered in his quest to find out what the crocodile eats recognize the different uses of the trunk of an elephant as mentioned in the story summarize the main message of the story and how it can be applied in our daily lives analyze the characters in the story and explain their roles in the plot be ready to enter into the first part of the story golu grew his nose comprehension 1 there was a time when the elephant had no trunk long long ago the elephant had no trunk he had only a bulgy nose as big as a boot he could wiggle it from side to side but couldn't pick up things with it golu a baby elephant with a bulgy nose is full of questions There was a baby elephant called Golu. He too had no trunk but only a bulgy nose as small as a small boot. Golu was full of questions. He asked his tall aunt the ostrich, "Why don't you ever fly like other birds?" Then he asked his tall uncle the giraffe, "What makes your skin so spotty?" He asked his huge uncle the hippopotamus why are your eyes always so red He asked his hairy uncle the baboon why do melons taste like melons The ostrich the giraffe the hippopotamus and the baboon had no answers to Golu's questions Golu is a naughty boy they said he asks such difficult questions he goes to the limpopo river to find out more about the crocodiles eating habits one day golu met the minor bird sitting in the middle of the bush he asked her what does the crocodile have for dinner the minor said go to the banks of the great grassy limpopo river and find out Golu went home. He took a hundred sugar canes, fifty dozen bananas, and twenty-five melons. Then he said to his family, "Goodbye. I am going to the great grassy Limpopo River. I'll find out what the crocodile has for dinner." He had never seen a crocodile and didn't know what one looked like. He met a python and asked him. Have you ever seen a crocodile? What does he look like? What does he have for dinner? The python uncoiled himself from the branch of a tree but said nothing. Golu politely helped him to coil around the branch again and said goodbye to him. Let's check our comprehension here. Whom does Golu ask? Why don't you even like other birds? A. Myna. B. Peacock. C. Ostrich. 
Yes, the answer is C. Ostrich. Well done, children. You have done a great job. Which uncle of Golu had red eyes? A. Giraffe. B. Hippopotamus. C. Baboon. Yes, the answer is Hippopotamus. Very good. Golu's relation did not answer his questions because A. They were shy. B. The questions were too difficult. C. Golu was a naughty boy. Yes, the answer is the questions were too difficult to answer them. Very well done. Who advised Golu to go to the Limpopo River? A. Mina B. Baboon C. Ostrich Yes, the answer is Mina. You are absolutely correct, children. Question number 5. Why did Golu go to the river? Option A. Because Golu was a naughty boy. Option B. To know about the crocodile's dinner. Option C. To see the great river Limpopo. Well done, children. You remembered very well. The answer is option B. To know about the crocodile's dinner. Comprehension 2. Golu meets the crocodile face to face. Golu moved on eating sugar canes, bananas and melons. After a few days, he reached the very edge of the great grassy Limpopo River. On the bank of the river, he saw a log of wood. It was really the crocodile who winked at him. Excuse me, said Golu. Have you ever seen a crocodile? The crocodile winked again and lifted half his tail out of the mud. Come here, little one, said the crocodile. Why do you ask such questions? I want to know. Come close, little one, for I am the crocodile. And he shed crocodile tears to show it was quite true. Golu was afraid, but he sat down on the bank and said, You are the very person I was looking for. Please tell me what you have for dinner. Come here, little one. And I'll wish for the answer to you, said the crocodile. Golu put his head down close to the crocodile's snout and the crocodile caught him up by the nose. I think, said the crocodile, today a baby elephant will be my dinner. Let me go, you are hurting me, Mr. Crocodile, screamed Golu. The python, who had been quietly following Golu, came to the bank and said, If you don't pull as hard as you can, the crocodile will drag you into the stream. Golu sat back on his little haunches and pulled and pulled. The crocodile slipped into the water, making it all creamy with great sweeps of his tail. He also pulled and pulled. Then the python coiled himself round Golu's stomach and said, Let's pull harder. Golu dug in all his four legs in the mud and pulled. The nose kept on stretching. At each pull, the nose grew longer and longer and it hurt Golu. The nose was now five feet long, but it was free at last. Golu sat down with his nose wrapped up in a big banana leaf and hung it in the great grassy Limpopo river to cool. Golu sat there for two days, 
waiting for his nose to cool and to shrink. It grew cool, but it didn't shrink. Golu grows a long and useful nose. At the end of the second day, a fly came and stung Golu on the shoulder. Golu lifted his long nose, that means trunk, and with it hit the fly dead. Advantage number one, hiss the python. You could have done it with a small nose. Try and eat a little now. Golu put out his trunk and plucked a large bundle of grass. He dashed it against his four legs and stuffed it into his mouth. Advantage number two, he's the python. You couldn't have done it with a small nose. Don't you think the sun is too hot now? Golu scooped up some mud from the bank and slapped it on his head. Advantage number three, he's the python. You couldn't have done it with a small nose. Thank you, Mr. Python, said Golu gratefully. I'll remember all this and now I'll go back to my family. Children, let's check your comprehension too. The crocodile lay on the bank of the Limpopo River. Golu thought it was A. A living crocodile, B. A dead crocodile, C. A log of wood. Yes, you are correct, children. It is a log of wood. Well done. What did the crocodile do to show that it was a real crocodile? A. The crocodile winked at Golu. B. The crocodile shed tears to show it was true. C. The crocodile lifted half of his tail out of the mud. Yes, great children, the answer is the crocodile shed tears to show it was true. Very great. I am appreciating you to remember the story. Come here little one and I will whisper the answer to you. The crocodile said this because A. He couldn't stand up B. He wanted to eat Golu C. Golu was deaf Yes, children, you are correct. The answer is He wanted to eat Golu. Your guess is very nice. Who helped Golu on the bank of the river? A. The miner B. The baboon C. The python. Yes, children. The answer is C. The python. Well done. Question number 5. Name two things that the elephant can and can't do with his trunk. Elephant can do's are He can hit a fly with his trunk. He can lift huge things with his trunk like logs, bundles of grass, etc. Elephant can't do. He cannot hear with his trunk. He cannot walk with his trunk. Summary of the story. In this story, Golu, a baby elephant with a bulgy nose, is sent to the great grassy Limpopo River to find out what the crocodile has for dinner. He is full of questions and has no trunk unlike other animals. He meets the minor bird and asks her what the crocodile has for dinner. Golu takes a hundred sugar canes, fifty dozen bananas and twenty-five melons and leaves his family. He encounters a python who asks him about the crocodile's appearance and what it has for dinner. The python tells Golu that he is the crocodile and will wish for the answer to him. Golu is afraid but he asks the crocodile for the answer. The crocodile catches Golu by the nose and he tells him that a baby elephant will be his dinner. 
the python tells golu to pull harder and golu does does so causing the nose so stretched and hurt golu the nose is now 5 feet long and it remains free golu sits in the river for 2 days waiting for its nose to cool and shrink at the end of the second day a fly stings golu on the shoulder and golu uses his long nose to hit the fly the python explains that golu's small nose allowed him to eat grass avoid the sun and avoid the mud golu gratefully remembers this experience and returns to his family rudyard kipling he was an english short story writer poet and novelist born in bombay in british india popular books by kipling are kim jungle book just so stories rikhi jikhi tavi etc words are of course the most powerful drug used by mankind famous quote by rudyard kipling a passenger boat was moving slowly in a thick fog on deck an old man rather frightened asked a sailor how far are we from the land half a mile he answered where said the old man straight down was the reply thank you for watching